Hi, myself Dr. Sandeep Sharma. I am a consultant at Human Mechanic Clinic and I specialize in musculoskeletal conditions. Today I am presenting a case on physiotherapy management in the treatment of ACL grade 2 tier in a national level hockey player. So we will discuss what is ACL and its type of tears. The knee is a hinge joint with four ligaments that hold it together and control its movement. Collateral ligaments are on the sides, while well, deep inside are the anterior cruciate ligament, which is ACL, and posterior cruciate ligament, also known as PCL. These ligaments connect the thigh bone, which is femur, to the shin bone, known as tibia. The ACL, made of strong fibrous material, provides support for the knees, mobility, and senses change in the movement direction, position, speed, and rigidity. ACL injuries often involve damage to other knee structures like cartilage, meniscus or ligaments. Most injuries result from non-contact forces generated within the athlete's body, often during a quick change in direction with the foot planted. This can occur during cutting and planting, landing from a jump, pivoting, twisting or direct impact to the front of the tibia. Patients with ACL tears typically experience a pop swelling, severe pain, and joint instability. Now we will discuss about the types. ACL injuries are commonly classified in grades which are 1, 2, and 3. Grade 1 injuries include ACLs that have suffered mild damage. Example, the ACL is mildly stretched but still provides adequate stability to the knee joint. Then the second grade, which is grade 2 ACL. Injuries are rare and describe an ACL that is stretched and partially torn. Then we will discuss about grade 3 ACL. Tears happen when ACL is torn completely in half and is no longer providing any stability to the knee joint. Today we will discuss about grade 2 ACL tear. While serving as a head physio at Hockey Nationals, I witnessed a 24 year player sustaining an injury during a high speed sprint and subsequent tackle. The player, to retain the position, swiftly changed direction and fell. Unable to bear weight, the game was halted and I swiftly responded with a stretcher. Upon examination, I noted significant swelling around the knee joint. I immediately applied cryotherapy, but unfortunately there was limited reduction in edema and pain. I advised the team coach and manager that the player would not be able to continue, recommending a day of rest along with icing and elevation. On examination next day, the athlete was brought by the coach to my clinic. On examination, there was grade 2 tenderness around the left knee joint and marked swelling and warmth. Vast score was 7 to 9 and buckling was observed. Anterior draw test was positive and pivot shift test was also positive. The athlete was sent for an MRI of the knee joint which revealed a partial grade 2 tear of ACL. The athlete was referred to a sports surgeon and was advised ACL reconstruction surgery by him. But he wanted to cure the tear with conservative treatment and the sports surgeon and the athlete showed trust in me and physiotherapy. So the treatment was divided into three phases, acute, subacute and chronic. We'll discuss about acute phase. A long knee brace was given and knee quick isometrics exercises. Avoid hyperextension of the knee in that. For pain management, IFT or TENS. For faster healing, laser therapy and low frequency shock wave therapy. To maintain cellular growth, matrix rhythm therapy was used. Strengthening of contralateral side, which is hip, knee and ankle. Now we'll discuss about subacute phase. Active assisted and active movements. Focus on hamstring muscle group. Working on hip and knee muscle group strength training, laser shockwave therapy and matrix was continued in this phase. And the last phase, chronic phase, power and endurance of the lower extremities, plyometric exercises, neuromuscular control and proprioceptive training. As a result, the player was able to return to his sports activity, which is hockey. Optional functional brace was advised to use. The follow-up was planned 6 to 8 times a month for the next 6 months for various return to sports fields. Follow-up till 1 year. 
and the player was ready to play after one year